be making bases. What's good YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up and comment on the video. We do respond. So let's go ahead and jump in today's content. So today we're going to be doing another viewer slash subscriber topic. Okay, we got Patrick here. He says how to make a Maj Majid Jordan type beat with drums using the step sequencer, okay? Majid Jordan. All right, honestly, I wasn't really super familiar with Majid Jordan. I had to do a little research. And Majid Jordan, they do like this type of, I, I want to say 80s type of funk type uh, music. And it, it just, it has a weird, very crazy vibe to it. But I'm going to attempt to go ahead and show y'all how to do this. I listened to their beats and listened to the song. And what I did is I actually went into Logic's um, loop pack um, section here and I found this hilarious um, melody here and I feel like it works well for that type of vibe. So let's let's kind of listen to the different sections and then I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and make like a beat out of it. So that's what we're going to be working with. Um, it, it's again, it's not perfectly like theirs, but it, it, it I feel like it is something that's going to work. So y'all will have to actually go and listen to them. I don't want to hit hit with copyright, so that's why we're not going to you know listen to them. Um, but the beat is kind of like a do check do do check do check do do check do. Check, do, do, check. It's kind of like a, it's a, it's a, it's a eighties like. It's a, it's like an eighties, an eighties beat, man. You know what I mean? So let's just let's just um, grab some drums here. I have the quick sampler pulled up. Um, we're gonna need like a kick. Um, so let's go to splice. We'll get some. We'll get a kick off of here. We'll say like pop. And we'll just go with. Let's see what we got here. Nah, we're not looking for something like that. Let's say 80s. Okay, let's do that. Let's do drums. No, let's do... Not quite what I'm looking for here. Tell you what, let me see here. This is the part that kind of takes a little bit of time. So this kick or kit sounds like it might have what we're looking for. So let's just click on this. All right, cool. So we'll grab that for our kick. I'm just gonna take all these other kicks out of here. Come on. Might have helped if I grabbed all of these kicks first, honestly, but it's good for the video so y'all can kind of get like a sound, get, get like a good sound selection. Um, no loop. Boom. All right, cool. So and then I'm just gonna repeat the process here. So I got my kick. And now let's find something else. And we need a snare. All 
We'll grab that that uh, snare right there. Drag them right over here. That's how I should really one of the reasons why I like um, the quick sampler is because you can just literally just drag and drop from anything once you, you download it or whatever. So here we go. That's our snare. And then we'll just do like a basic like hat. I'm just, I'm just pushing command D to double this. We'll open this bad boy up. And we need some hats now. Let's see here. Close hat. We'll just grab this one. All right. All right, cool. So we have our uh, samples here. Do, 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 check, do, do, check. That's the kind of vibe that it is. It's not a hip hop vibe. So we're going to have to switch it up a little bit. So the same principles are going to apply, man. So let's just start with uh, the clap or the snare because that's going to be the most constant and easiest thing to follow here. I'll turn off uh, the strings for this. And then what we're going to do is uh, go over here to the scissors and we're going to be using the step sequencer room. So we'll click this option right here. So what we're going to want to do is see where it says 16 steps. We're going to go down to 64 steps. And what it's going to do is give you more options as far as clicking. You don't want it to be super basic. We'll take this and move this over here to the very beginning. And we want to create a snare pattern. So let's just basically, as you see this little white box moving through here, you can kind of just see where you're going to be put placing the different um, notes as you, if you just look at this white guy, this, excuse me, not white guy, this white box, scroll through uh, the different steps. So, all right, basically, you can see where the pattern is going to go. He's going to skip this and go right here. So you got your first snare pattern. Hopefully I didn't go too fast for you. But basically, since it's a constant hit, you can just see where it's supposed to go. All right, and then I'm just gonna take this and hold down option and drag this over. And what that's gonna do is make a copy of this and it's gonna go throughout the whole loop. So let us listen to it. All right, and then we're, we're, what we wanna do is now go with the kick. And again, the kick is gonna be going do, check, do, do, check, do check do do check that's the kind of vibe that they have on um majid jordan has okay so we'll start off with the uh the one or the debate the, the uh the beginning note here let's just turn this down some a little bit because it's and we wanted to go boom check doom doom check And see, this is one good thing I really like about the step sequencer. Like, say if I was trying to draw this in um, on a, in the piano row, I would have to, like, you know, draw it in, get the note length. If I messed up, I will have to, you know, highlight it, then delete. You know, it just makes it super simple. And you're basically sounding everything out here. So, like, as it's playing, you're going to sound out where you're going to place the next note. So... And obviously, this is actually going to be a pattern that I would just pretty much repeat here throughout the whole song. So, like, if you could just look at this and see, you say, okay, cool, I have, um, I click on one uh, note step right here, and then it looks like we have six steps that's going to pass first, and then you click another one, and you got two more steps, click another one. So, boom. And make sure you go to this other option right here to continue the pattern. I'm going over six steps. All right, 
So let's check it out. Let's see if it if it sounds right. And I, you can come over here and so you want to have like this extra little note right here. And so what you could do is you can turn off this loop, and come back over here and just play. Cool. So you got to play around with the notes, basically, man, or the steps here in order to really get it going. Because, like, if you move it over one step, it's now hip hop. You feel me? Or if you move it over another step, it's now another genre. So, like, you just got to get the vibe of what it's doing um, in each. Um, you want to get the vibe on, on, on this, man. So let's just listen to it again. And so like right here, you might want to add some more variation. So, so like boom, boom check. Click right there just to get the beginning part of this. And so what you're doing is you're pretty much like sounding this out. Like, so you might hear what should go next and, you, and then you can just use your mouth to like basically beatbox it like before it actually happens and then you can kind of like come over here and keep on playing around with it until you get it so what one thing you can that will help is if you like take the loop and make it smaller and you can just work on each section until you get the beat right so you can do it like this Bet. So now we got this one. All right, bet. So now, now that we got that done. We can listen to the whole beat and make and see how it sounds. Matter of fact, now now that I change those up, man, it makes me want to kind of change up some stuff in this first part as well. So let's listen to it. Cool. So now that we got our kick done and our snare done, let's work on the hi hats. So we'll listen to it one more time all the way through, and then we'll work on those hi hats to see what belongs in there.
All right, cool. So now let's do this hi hats pattern. And if you want to get a little bit more fancy, again, you can just go up to the 64 steps and get a little more fancier. But honestly, I don't think you need to do that. Just keep it simple on this hat. Yeah, so just giving a good little vibe here, man. I mean, it's not 100% perfect. We, we, we pretty much can keep on working around, working around with this beat, but uh, for the most part, man, it does have that vibe, that um, that vibe that we were looking for, man. So thank y'all for watching, and without further ado, we're out.